As I said moments ago, 35 people are dead tonight after a two day stretch of storms across the south. And we now know one of them is Indiana native Bob Tittle, Rob Tittle, as a matter of fact. Rob is a 1984 alum of Southport High School and was killed this week in Arkansas, along with two of his daughters. Our ABC affiliate in Little Rock was there today when his family dug through the rubble and found his Bible amidst the chaos. Rob wrote a note to one of his daughters, Emily, in the book, giving her a final note of love to remember him by. Friends of the Tittle family say these deaths are going to impact everyone in the community. They, there's 11 of them, and, and those kids just, you know, their parents had, were awesome because the kids just reflected so well-mannered, so behaved, fun-loving, positive, and just they, the, their faith in God is what held that family together. Rob's wife managed to survive the storm along with seven of their nine children, including an eight-month-old baby. Continuing our coverage now, while friends and family are mourning at Rob Tittle in Arkansas, tonight his family here in Indiana is also grieving. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser has just returned from the south side and joins us now with more. And we spoke with Mike Tittle, Rob's big brother, as he prepares to leave for Arkansas for funeral services. He told us Rob is the youngest of four, a Southport High School graduate and Ball State alum. Here he is in the background of this picture. Mike says he's photobombing him. The two had a close relationship. Rob moved to Arkansas more than a decade ago, where he and his now widow were raising nine children. Mike says he spoke with Rob's widow, Carrie, about Sunday's events. After the tornado hit, she is the one who found Rob and two of their daughters, 20-year-old Tori and 14-year-old Rebecca, lying lifeless among the debris. We think it was actually the propane tank that broke loose, or I think that what she told me was that it swung by and, and basically hit them at 100 miles an hour and just wiped them out. But she said that whole sequence of events took four seconds. So basically they went from inside their house to her house being gone and her family being devastated in a four second period. Mm. Mike says he plans to leave early Thursday morning for funeral services that are scheduled for late this week. Live downtown tonight, Chance Walser, RTV6.